Hey there, friends. I hope that you are doing just great. I um, I have three new starter journals to go in the shop, and I wanted to show these to you right quick. I really appreciate you guys liking the um, the starter journals. They are kind of they well, they are the perfect thing to, to go along with our uh, how to use a flow journal series, and they're just a little they're more of a petite. A version of a flow journal than our, you know, big honk and big berthas and things like that. This first one is called um, Pirate's Life, of course. It features our favorite guy, Jack Sparrow. And uh, these are, I think these are folks from the, the, the later Pirates of the Caribbean movies, but I think she has the most beautiful face here. This one is... Um, Completed with some etched beads, some wooden beads, and right on the end, right there, we've got a couple of skulls. One of my favorite uh, scenes in Pirates of the Caribbean is when uh, Keith Richards plays Jack Sparrow's dad, and Jack Sparrow said, says, how's mom? And... Keith Richards pulls a shrunken head from underneath his shirt, and that is Jack Sparrow's mom. And Jack Sparrow says, she looks great. <laughs> it's just so funny. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, I love those movies. Um... Okay, guys, we start off with some magazine pages, and we all know that uh, these magazine pages are just highly inspirational. They're beautiful. They maybe can put you in a happy place. Um, I just watched a beautiful Jenny Belly video about, uh, um, like sacred spaces. And I thought, you know, this would be a great way to start to hone in on what your sacred space might look like. You know, what would it be like? What would it have? What patterns would it have? What colors would it have? Uh, it was a new video. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking it's a new video. I think it was the May Challenge video over at journalworkshops.ning.com. We have a lot of pretty papers for you guys to play with. Some game ephemera right here. I received a great art book. Uh, it just is chock full of incredible imagery, beautiful drawings, beautiful paintings. I thought it was so interesting because so much of it is highlighted. So I do believe that someone purchased this in order to study art at a very intimate and close level. We have a vintage um, greeting card for you. This is Merry Christmas, Happy New Year from Lydia. And we know those cards are from the 40s and the 50s. Hard to see. This is the annotated stuff that I was telling you guys about. I love it. This is a little thing that says make magic. I did make some cards to go in here, you guys. So you'll, you'll have some stamped images to play with. These are the vintage Hallmark mushroom cards that I'm crazy about. I love them. I love the blue butterflies. I think they're so pretty. We've got vintage text pages for you to play with. Again, you know, please refer to the How to Use a Flow Journal video series that I did on YouTube, and you will discover all kinds of ways to use your flow journal. I love vintage recipes, especially the... Um, I like the the colored items here because you don't see color. Uh, these are from 1953, I do believe. Lots of papers and things for you to play with. Lots of, you know, these are, are cards. You can turn them into journaling cards if you want to. This is a paper bag, and inside the paper bag is another bag full of goodies for you guys to play with as well. And I, I love using these game pieces. That's been a lot of fun because I find myself, especially like Trivial Pursuit, I am not good at strategy games, you know. 
Um, when Corey was little, Chris used to play Risk with him, and it was like, <laughs> Corey would go, oh no, <laughs> uh, because he knew that he was going to get, it's not just beat, you know, you're going to get smushed if you're going to play with Chris Grigg, because he's really great with strategy games, but Corey and I, not so much. This is a heart journal, and it is it is finished off with some plastic beads and little plastic hearts right here. I really dig this it's a it's a type of yarn, but it has a, a sparkle to it, and I think that it just really enhances these journals, makes them so pretty. This is finished off with a Tim Holtz number twenty six Brad. We have some uh, clock, a beautiful clock uh, scrapbook paper that also has some sparkle to it. Very kind of enchanting. Uh, I like. Of course, the magazine pages are just inspiring. Look at that chair. Oh, my gosh. It's just so pretty. My house is decorated kind of somewhere between a frat house. Oh, let's see. Frat house, farmhouse. And right now, it is pretty much kind of a place to store musical equipment. My uh, daughter-in-law to be and I were talking about that when I went to visit them a couple weeks ago because they had just cleaned out their their storage building and they were able to not have a storage building because they have this terrific new apartment that has lots and lots of storage in it but a lot of things like amplifiers have been turned into tables you know guitar cases have been stacked and put something you know put a little tchotchke of it it's like yeah you know amplifiers is furniture and that's kind of what happens you know when you have so much musical equipment and right now I mean that's that's pretty much been my life for 25 years. Uh, there's always an amplifier, a guitar, a bass, microphone stands. You know, the microphone stands have come in really handy because that's what I use to mount my tablet that I use to record these videos. I have text pages for you. These are old dictionary pages that I just love the illustrations in here. Of course, I love the colors of these old, old papers as well. This was an arithmetic book that is beautifully yellowed. Uh, and it has, I love the numbers that are in here. I just think it's so interesting. I'm not a numbers girl, but I do like numbers. Um, new washi tape that I'm really digging. I'm going to have to go back to Lidl and see if they have any more of this washi tape. I think it's beautiful. There's a skinny book right here for you. Some recipes. Prune souffle. Um, no, I don't think so. I do like prunes, though. Uh, again, the illustrations are just fantastic. More stamped images for you to play with. We've got some vintage playing cards for you. The whole tag from... Um, I used to work at a dress shop, so it just always reminds me of that. Packaging that has been turned into a bookmark. Some fabric. This is from Gail. Her, her cool fabric swatches right here. And more stamped imagery. This is the bag that has uh, playthings in it. So you can have extra papers and extra ideas to, to um, fulfill your artistic heart desire there. This is our last little starter journal that's going in the shop. I love her. I love the blue butterfly. I like the uh, Eiffel Tower on the front. It's very French inspired. It's finished off with plastic beads and plastic heart beads. Again, the uh, that beautiful binding that's kind of iridescent, shimmery. It's very, very pretty. Let's see what we have in this journal. Of course, we always include some ATCs for you guys. I love this image because the this pot looks like it has patina, but I believe it's a new pot. It says garden right there. I got a strawberry pot from mom and dad's when I went to see them a couple weeks ago, and I'm wondering what to do with my strawberry pot. 
I kind of am thinking about putting succulents in it. I love succulents. They're beautiful. But I'm wondering if it's something easy to kill. Because if it's something easy to kill, I probably don't want it. <laughs> More tags and inspiration for you guys to play with. These are our like Moroccan Bohemian papers. And I just think they're so pretty. Uh, more from that gorgeous art book, you guys. I am going to enjoy that for such a long time. Again, the annotation is just incredible. To me, that just really speaks, doesn't it? I mean, it says so much. Here's someone studying art. Maybe maybe they're studying art, you know, as a 60-year-old like me and just getting into the finer points of art. Um, or maybe it's someone just starting an art career who has been doing all that highlighting in this book. This is a vintage Christmas card that's signed by Ralph. I met a Ralph this week. My sweet neighbor, Mr. Pat, uh, who is 91, had to go live in a, a retirement home. And his sweet nephew is coming over and cleaning up his house. And I met him this week. Um, I love these images of deer. I, we see a lot of deer here. Um, it, you know, I, not very long ago, <laughs> we had a buck, like, running through our yard. It's not unusual, and I, I just think that deer are just quite lovely animals. I like all animals, actually. Um, these are the vintage pages, vintage text pages, vintage dictionary page. More ATCs for you to play with, some game ephemera, there's lots of fun. You know, my favorite stamp is that star stamp. I try not to use it all the time, y'all, but I tell you it's really hard. I love this image right here on this recipe card because he's got, he's got on high top sneakers. And his little blue jeans are rolled up, and that's just cute. Reminds me of Opie Taylor on Andy Griffith, which, you know, I love Andy Griffith. That is the end of my work day is 8 o'clock, so I can go watch Andy Griffith. <laughs> that's okay, because it starts about 5, 5 a.m. to 8, 8 p.m. I think that's long enough. This is another bag full of goodies for you to play with. Some original art that I did that I pulled out of one of my art books and more inspiration in these pockets. So these journals will go in the shop today. Today is Saturday. And I, um, again, you guys, I really appreciate your support of the Etsy shop. Thank you so much. You have made such a difference in um, my life. And I appreciate you guys. And I love all of you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.